Hi, welcome back to the show. Well, uh, let's discuss some news flow that came through overnight. The cabinet has now allowed uh, several states to mine and sell coal, ending the monopoly of the centre. That's pretty important. So let's get Partha Bhattacharya, the former chairman of Coal India, to tell us what the impact could be. Mr. Bhattacharya, morning. Uh, what could be the impact of the cabinet decision? Well, you see, I don't see too much of an impact <clears throat> because, uh, in to my mind, this is not possibly the best way of uh, getting competition, creating competition for Coal India. Firstly, the state governments don't have the necessary kind of, uh, <clears throat> you know, expertise or neither do they have uh, sort of uh, contacts with, I mean, nor do they have uh, companies which have uh, sort of mining expertise or have core competence in mining. So I am not sure who are the who are the agencies who are actually going to do the mining. So in all probability, they will be inviting bids, and uh, this will be basically they will uh, hand it over to somebody for uh, working as a mine development operator. You know, so it will be a contractor, and uh, that will definitely raise more coal. And uh, to some extent, it will meet the overall requirement of the country. But whether this will lead to best in-class mining coming up uh, is a matter of doubt. You don't think, uh, uh, Mr. Bhattacharya, that uh, uh, there, there, will, there, will, there will be an impact on the volumes of coal India? Not much, because you see, today we are importing 240 million tons of coal. So if at all something happens, it will be to some extent, you know, reduce that. That's all that can happen. And uh, you don't think that com companies like NTPC have the capability of mining and selling coal? NTPC has been given blocks 10 years back. Uh, they are sitting on, I think, eight or nine blocks with a total uh, mineable coal of more than uh, 1.5 to 2 billion tons, and they have not produced a single ton so far. So I don't really, uh, I can't vouch that NTPC has great competence. You know, mining is a specialized activity. It requires competence. Worldwide mining is not done by small, small agencies here and there, and people mining their own coal requirement for end use. These are not the kind of things that happens. Globally, <clears throat> globally, coal mining is restricted to <clears throat> large companies, and uh, they are professional companies. They have the expertise in coal mining, and that is what is actually uh, an essential attribute <clears throat> for becoming successful in coal mining. It is not anybody's job. But these kind of policies tend to consider that coal mining is just a, sort of an excavating something and getting some coal. I mean, that's not the way to do it. Mr. Bhattacharya, we leave it at that. Thanks for joining us. In fact, we have an analyst who tracks the sector closely as well. Chintan Mehta, the metal analyst at Sunidi Securities, joins us now. Uh, Chintan, um, you must have just heard the management of Coal India where they did mention that there's not much of an impact on Coal India volumes. But um, what do you think the impact on Coal India could be? Uh, um First, uh, no, uh, two things I would like to you know, bring out. Uh, just draw back from September 2014 when the uh, Supreme Court cancelled the mines and you know, the 34 operating mines were auctioned. And we are six months, uh, seven months down the line, only uh, out of that nine mines have started operating. Those mines will have produced 40 to 50 million tons. We have just got nine million tons of coal mines. So, uh, and, you know, so and, uh, as per my knowledge or uh, goes, 41 mines actually of the 204 coal work uh, which were deallocated were allocated to state enterprise earlier for commercial mining. Mm. So it's, it's a distinct thing that these mines will come up and ramp up and as, as you know uh, the former guest uh, as I said it, uh, it, it, uh, it would cater to a small scale uh, uh, demand which was earlier envisaged by the government, earlier government as well, but which never came on road from the coal box we were in 1993. So it's a long distinct uh, possibility that this mine will start and uh, you know, challenge certain volumes of coal India. Okay, so you're still you still have a buy on coal India. Yes, absolutely, buy on coal India. Uh, no doubt about that. Because I uh, see the current e auction prices fall. It's not phenomenal of uh, some uh, anything else. It's a factor of two things: it's the lower international prices and it's uh, stupendous volume growth of 10 percent offtake growth. Uh, uh, you know, year on year. So that has actually put pressure on the auction prices rather than anything else. And just to make a one point, you know, even if this uh, uh, um, state enterprise are allowed, one company which co comes into our radar will be GMDC, 
uh, which actually uh, is mining lignite in Gujarat and they are somewhere professional and, and, uh, and able to mine a, in a distinct possibility. That's the only company which comes in our radar, if, even if it uh, comes out. Okay, yes, so that's GMDC that has the infrastructure and the capabilities of mining and they currently do mining in Gujarat. But what about NTPC? Um, do you think NTPC has the capability of mining and selling coal and what would your view be on that if you do have one? I, I, I do not actively cover NTPC so I wouldn't be able to comment on that part. No, no, the point is that because of this news, should there be a long-term bullishness, uh, some tailwind for NTPC or even for that matter Adani Enterprises, which mines mm. coals abroad, you know, in future uh, commercial mining will be opened even to private parties. It, it's too early to go bullish on them? Absolutely. See, as I said, Lata, you know, 41 mines which were allowed in 1993, you know, uh, forget about, uh, you know, 1993, that, you know, last one year, we have not you know, got 40, 50 million tons from the uh, mine which are already producing. So, okay. you know, uh, getting a two or three years down, these mines will actually start producing and alerting. Then it will, uh, will we are see the private miners coming in and it will not be an easy game because they have to bid for it. Uh, so, I mean, it's, uh, there are many ifs and buts in this, you know, in the situation actually. All right. Uh, thanks for that. In fact, since you mentioned GMDC, that stock has spiked up as well. It's up almost about three, uh, three and a half percent now. There you have it, GMDC. We